is Miranda and today I am here to react to the 10 minute all too well short film that Taylor Swift directed and wrote for the new release of Red. There is so much I could say about All Too Well. It has been my favorite Taylor Swift song since it came out in 2012. It is one I have wrote many a fan fiction to and cried to and blasted and laid on the bedroom floor and just listened to it and felt all the emotions and I never ever ever thought that someday we would be getting the full 10 minute version of the song. I have listened to the 10 minute version of the song when the album was released and oh my gosh just the emotion, the pain, the whole additional stuff of the gaslighting and the relationship that it adds to how she was feeling is I can't even believe that someone was able to capture that in a song and I think it's a song that everyone in some way shape or form can relate to even if you've been in a relationship like that or not just people know the feeling of losing a relationship that you thought maybe was more important to you than it was to someone else and I don't think that necessarily has to be a romantic relationship but just the thought of you know not being able to move on and replaying everything that happened and remembering it I think is something that yeah everyone can relate to and I think that's why this song has really resonated for so long I mean it's been almost 10 years since it came out and it's it's raw it's unfiltered it's unflinching it's a look into someone who is grieving and you know, realizing that this relationship that they poured their heart into, they might not have been getting the same back. And I think that's, that's deeply upsetting. And I feel like the interesting thing too now about like hearing Taylor talk about Red when it originally came out is I didn't realize just how heartbroken she still was when Red came out, you know, like she was talking about like crying in between interviews and stuff like that. And I feel like it makes sense to like not only have the courage and the bravery to put out a song this emotional and raw but then to have it come out and relive it and have to talk about it and have people judge it and judge your emotions for it like she was only what like 23 when it came out that's that's astounding so now the 10 minute version is out it's absolutely heart-wrenching and beautiful and I am so excited to see the film it's starring Sadie Sink and Delano O'Brien and initially when it came out like the first thought I had was that's a weird age gap then I remembered that's basically Jake and Taylor's age gap what it was I think Dylan and Sadie are a little bit older um but it's the the thing that's how you can tell like the people who have known all too well from the beginning versus the people who are just getting into it now the people that comment like the age gap's a little weird right and it's like that's the point you're supposed to be watching it and I love both Sadie Sink like Max is probably my favorite character on Stranger Things like honestly and Dylan O'Brien I've loved like since I was a teenager <laughs> listening to All Too Well for the first time so it's so cute that they're both in this and I'm just really excited to check it out so yeah that's enough gushing for now let's check it out let's get the tissue box ready and check it out also I am gonna be I'm listening to it with like the full song the sound everything I can't include it in this video because you know I don't have the the rights to it <laughs> so it's gonna be just like the video and not the music but I am listening to it with the music so <laughs> she's beautiful too like she just has this like innocence about her face oh my gosh I already feel emotional all too well I just never never thought Favorite Taylor Swift song, one of my favorite songs ever, and look at her. It totally has the feeling too of being so excited, you know? Like this older boy invited me to his house and he really loves me. Oh look, only she's in the mirror, so it's like only she's seeing this relationship. <laughs> They're so cute. He's got the red lipstick. And he's wearing flannel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. The first crack in the last. Oh, so it's like timelines. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, she looks so much like Taylor there with the red lipstick. Oh, they're all older than her. Oh gosh. Did he mean to throw that? I think he just meant- what? Oh gosh, that line breaks my heart. Like you're waiting to be like, this is love. <laughs> that looks like the like, my flip flops, you know when he does the social network thing? Dylan O'Brien is an underrated actor. Uh oh. She's so young. It's crazy to think that Taylor would have been this young. Like I think because I was young I didn't conceptualize the fact that like Jake Gyllenhaal should not have been dating someone that young. Like that's on him. He's a grown adult. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, his boys. Still over it's so good. Oh, the gaslighting. Oh my gosh. She's trying to like say how she's feeling. He's just like meh, meh, meh. the fact that you haven't seen those people in ten years should show the age difference. Like that's weird. Oh my gosh, he's like blaming her for it. <laughs> so Jake Gyllenhaal is kind of a narcissist. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Wow, the way he's like calm would drive me insane if I was arguing with him. Oh, that face. Whew. Oh my gosh. He like broke this girl down and is now like, oh, it's okay, let's not fight. Like, jeez Louise. He's not though, because he doesn't even remember it, so. Oh my gosh, now he makes her feel stupid. Wait, just give me a whole movie about this, like... Girl, listen to your gut feeling. She's got that gut feeling right now of like, this ain't right. They're actually dancing! Oh, this is so cute. It's just like seeing the whole relationship. That line kills me. Kept me like a secret, but I kept it like an oath. Oh, a crossword puzzle. That's an easter egg right to something else. Another song. Uh-oh. I like that it's split into time. Oh my gosh, wait. He's just gonna break up with her? Wow. If this is how it really happened, wow. Can anyone read lips? Do they know what she's saying? Wow, he's so calm too. That infuriates me. Oh no. <laughs> she's a really good actress, Sadie. Jeez, it's all older people again. It's such a bullshit thing if we'd have been closer in age. Like, you knew how old she was when you first started dating her. Look, they're all older. She doesn't fit in. Jeez. Guys, I want to know what actress that is so bad. Oh my gosh. That line gets me too. Like, could you imagine your dad being like, just seeing you absolutely heartbroken and being like, you're supposed to be having fun. You're 21. Jeez. Oh, it's Christmas now. It's all the season. She's just staying there. Oh gosh, it's just so raw. Yeah, buddy. How can you care, say you care about someone and watch them break down? Wait, that's Taylor. I was like, I know those hands. <laughs> oh, she's got red hair. Oh, she wrote the book. Oh, look at her. She looks awesome with red hair, but like, they, she really looks like Sadie, that's the thing. 
I'm all crying. Literally me. I've, listen, I've seen all too well live the chills it sent down my body. <laughs> oh my god, it's the scarf. Do you think he still has the scarf? Because, like, dude. That was heartbreaking. That was beautiful. That, I want to watch it like 55 more times and I want a full season of it. I want a full movie. Her, him, her later on. I also love that like we've always associated it with fall and like the song itself is like about fall, you know, like autumn leaves falling down, but it ends with snow. Like, you know, I feel like that's just such a beautiful metaphor, you know, of like fall was like this fun time, right? And it was like when they fell in love and it was all new. And then when he left, it was winter, you know, like she was on her own. She was, you know, alone and cold. It just makes me so incredibly like, I just want to hug her. But I also like, I want to hug everyone that can relate to this. The layers that we've now gotten to it I think are so beautiful with like how we see it's a 19 20 year old girl dating what he was like what 28 almost 30 at the time so you see how it's magical and beautiful to her and yeah even when they do get in fights like it's it's on him you know what I mean like it's like he is the one making her think like she's not she's being immature or like breaking up with her because of the age gap like you knew how old she was when you were getting with her and I love the line especially the line at the end where she says like I'm not good at telling jokes but the punchline goes I'll get older but your lovers will stay the same age I want to did she write that back then because if so she knew the future because Jake Gyllenhaal is now dating a 25 year old so like I don't want to like get into the whole semantics of like Jake Gyllenhaal too much because like the man can live his life I don't care for him really because I don't care for any man that like is older and dates young girls like that's why I don't really care for Henry Cavill and I don't care for a lot of men in Hollywood and like the men that are young now you gotta wait to see what like who's Timothy Chalamet gonna date when he's 40 you know if it's a four year old cool if it's a 25 year old he's gone in my book I think that scene of them at the dinner party encapsulated it perfectly of like you know they're good when they're alone and there's no one else there but when you start bringing in other people and he's this charmer she's just in the corner she doesn't know these people she's younger than them like she's constantly comparing herself to them like that was the thing afterwards at the party she was seeing all these beautiful older gorgeous women and being like I don't compare to this like I can't I'm young that whole scene after of them like in the kitchen fighting that was perfect. Like, I don't know if they ad-libbed that, if Taylor just, like, gave them, like, things to, like, points she wanted to hit, and then they, it kind of felt like they did ad-lib it, like, a lot of it. Just how, like, she was trying to explain her point, and he just didn't want to talk about it, and then when she was finally, like, I don't know what to say, and was, like, breaking down, he was like, oh, I don't want to fight anymore. Like, it's okay. And, like, the way he was talking was not how he was just, like, so calm. And even when, like, they broke up how he sat her down, and, like, she looked like she was completely blindsided. Like, hey, what's going on? Like, I think she was even wearing his, uh, shirt. Why can't I think of the word shirt? So it was like, they just were making out, probably, or, like, hanging out, and then he's like, you know what? It's time to talk. And it's probably like, wait, where was this coming from? We were just hanging out, like, two seconds ago, and it's just beautiful. It's like if you had taken what I picture all too well to be in my head, <laughs> that would have been it. And like I said, I want like a whole movie of it. I want them like, like I want more scenes of them like talking. Like obviously the song fits perfectly, but I want scenes of them talking too because I think that fight scene was, that was like the song in Capsule. You know what I mean? So like it was, wow. I think we all talk about John Mayer in terms of like preying on Taylor when she was young, but like Jake did it too, you know? It's creepy. <laughs> like, why won't you date people your own age? And then, especially if you're gonna date girls that young, you can't be surprised then when they're saying like they don't like know the people you're hanging out with or like they want you to talk to them when they're around a bunch of people that are 10 years older than them. Do you know how awkward I would feel I'm around a bunch of 28 year olds when I was 18, 19? Gosh, I loved it. It was everything I ever wanted and never thought I could get. So thank you so much, Taylor Swift. Thank you, Sadie. Thank you, Dylan. I loved it. I love the music video. I'm going to go watch it again, actually. So so yeah, if you have seen the short film for All Too Well and listened to the 10-minute version, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments, your favorite lyrics, your favorite parts, all you loved about it. And yeah, make sure this video thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.